what is the etiology of pneumonia whatever etiology we'll be discussing it is solely based upon uh, nelson with some one liners i will be adding separately from uh, indian data to supplement it so first of all etiology wise first of all we'll divide it according to based upon age so what are the age related causes first of all if we talk about neonates up to 3 weeks of age or less so less than 3 weeks of age we find that bacterial causes are the most common so it is overwhelmingly bacterial causes which are responsible in this age group in case of world as well as overall we find that most common cause of pneumonia in children is group b streptococcus also called as one member of this family is streptococcus a galaxie this is the most common cause worldwide this is not very frequent in india please remember this but worldwide or if they don't mention the word india the answer will be group b streptococcus second common cause after this is e coli and then you have the other gram negative pathogens including klebsiella it can also sometimes be caused by haemophilus influenzae etc but most commonly the top two causes group b streptococcus followed by e coli when question says specifically about india nelson does not talk about india so the other data is from nelson some data is from indian setting in india the most common cause is similar to the causes of neonatal sepsis so it will be caused by klebsiella klebsiella is the most common cause of bacterial pneumonia in less than 3 weeks bacterial pneumonia in less than 3 weeks is usually synonymous with neonatal sepsis so klebsiella is the most common cause followed by e coli so e coli is second number in both world as well as in india moving further the second age group is 3 weeks to 4 completed years of age now nelson has divided it into 3 weeks to 3 months and then 3 months to 4 years it is basically and they have repeated the same data we'll do it in a way that it is easy for you to remember for exam so 3 weeks to 4 completed years of age please remember that viral causes are more common than bacterial causes so in this particular age group viral causes are more common right which is the most common viral cause it is respiratory syncytial virus which is most common especially in the first two years of age followed by rhinovirus rhinovirus commonly causes the common cold but it is also a common cause of pneumonia in children so rsv followed by rhinovirus and of course there can be other viral causes like influenza para influenza human meta pneumovirus etc bacterial causes the if you are asked about the bacterial causes the most common bacterial cause in this age group 3 weeks to 4 completed years is streptococcus pneumoniae also called as pneumococcus that is the most common cause followed by haemophilus influenzae and the interesting thing is this data is same in both india as well as world so india and world almost similar data is same so you can remember 3 weeks to 4 completed years viral more common than bacterial which is most common viral cause rsv if they ask most common bacterial cause the answer will be streptococcus pneumoniae and then we have the third category 5 years and above 5 years and above we find that the most common cause irrespective of world or india it is mycoplasma in this age group it is mycoplasma pneumoniae uh, followed by second common is streptococcus pneumoniae followed by chlamydophila pneumoniae a member of the chlamydia family so chlamydophila pneumoniae these are the top 3 causes in older children and adolescent age group and in addition you may find some non typeable haemophilus influenza also uh, coming here uh, influenza virus you can occur here you can remember that uh, you can put a star and remember that influenza virus can cause pneumonia across all ages but it is not most common in any specific age group but influenza virus can infect across all i have taken some time to explain because different textbooks give different values different guide books if you look at even the past papers they give you erroneous values and these are the values i have spent quite some time confirming all these values with standard text and so you can you can save your time and go with this list for your exam so this is the list based upon h second we come to list which is based upon exposure so if you have a clinical mcq scenario 
and it mentions that there was a child who had history of exposure to this and then developed pneumonia few weeks later. What is the likely organism? So this is how the question is going to be asked. There is a huge table given in Nelson. Some of it contains information not relevant to us. But I have edited out and added some information and this is the one that you need to remember. So if the question says there was exposure to contaminated aerosols, the likely organism will be Legionella pneumophila. It causes a pneumonia called as Legionnaires disease. Contaminated aerosols can typically happen in air conditioner chambers, air conditioned areas. It can also happen in hospital water supply. So, these are the areas where contaminated aerosols can spread and cause Legionella pneumophila. If you remember when you were in undergraduate days, there used to be a very popular Purana MCQ which used to come that there was a conference held in which a lot of people attended and in a humid environment, ACs were being used and there was contamination of the aerosol following which there was an outbreak of pneumonia. The pneumonia was not responding to beta lactams and there was presence of neutrophils but no organisms could be identified on bronchoalveolar lavage. What is the likely diagnosis? So everything was fitting into Legionnaires disease or Legionella pneumophila. So you may get similar question in your super speciality also. So remember contaminated aerosols Legionella pneumophila. Then we have bad droppings or soil enriched with bird droppings. The likely organism will be histoplasma capsulatum. Water contaminated with animal urine likely organism leptospira. Unpasteurized milk Brucella. See, Brucella more commonly causes fever of or pyraxia of unknown origin, but it can sometimes cause pneumonia also and uh, unpasteurized milk will be the source of Brucella. Droppings or urine or saliva of rodents can cause hantavirus. It is frequently reported intermittently from certain provinces of China. Cattle, goat hair or hides, if there is exposure, it increases the risk of anthrax. If the question talks about outbreak in school dormitory, People living in close proximity to each other. Children, you know, between 5 years to 15 years, living in close proximity, outbreak happens. Most likely, it is going to be mycoplasma pneumonia. Although Neisseria meningitidis is also common, but it more frequently causes meningitis compared to pneumonia. But in Nelson, it is mentioned as one of the rare causes and so I have mentioned it here. And then parrots and pigeons. You will have Chlamydia sitaki causing infection. The infection is called as Cytacosis. So, cytacosis is not only caused by parrots, but uh, pigeon exposure can also cause chlamydia sitaki. So, these are the etiological agents of pneumonia in children based upon exposure. So, first we have talked about H, second we talked about exposure. Now, MCQ pointers, very, very important. All of the points which I am discussing are either MCQs already asked or MCQs asked in central institutes or similar questions have been asked in your pre PG exams as well. You know that modified versions of these sometimes can be asked in your super specialty exam as well. So, MCQ pointers, first of all, this is taken from Nelson. This is not an MCQ, but a pointer taken from Nelson. You get a case where there is a pneumonia in a child aged 3 months to 3 years, but there is no fever in the child. What will you suspect? The likely diagnosis, one of the possibility will be Chlamydia trachomatis. Remember this. Bacterial infection superimposed on influenza virus is caused most commonly by which pathogen? It is most commonly caused by Staph aureus, right? Staph aureus, please remember that it has a tendency to cause superimposed infection on two important viral infections. One is influenza. So, first there is influenza. If it gets complicated, it, it will usually get complicated by Staph aureus. And second one is your measles. Both measles pneumonia as well as influenza pneumonia are complicated by Staph aureus. Then we have pneumonia or in cystic fibrosis. There are very particular set of pathogens which cause pneumonia and cystic fibrosis. If the question talks about overall most common cause of pneumonia in cystic fibrosis or they ask specifically about adults, the answer will be Pseudomonas aeruginosa which is the most common cause. Pseudomonas, which type of strains? Mucoid strains are more common than non-mucoid strains. If they ask specifically about children, child with cystic fibrosis, in children, the most common cause of pneumonia and cystic fibrosis is not Pseudomonas, it is a organism that you frequently know, Staph aureus, followed by Pseudomonas aeruginosa. 
as age advances colonization of pseudomonas become more prevalent and that becomes the major cause if the question says uh, most common fungal pneumonia in cystic fibrosis is caused by which organism the answer will be aspergillus fumigatus if the question says most severe or fatal or specific organism causing pneumonia in cystic fibrosis although it is overall rare overall rare hai but when it comes it takes the life of the child the organism will be burkholderia cypatia you must have heard the name naam to suna hi hoga burkholderia cypatia member of pseudomonas family and uh, burkholderia cypatia it belongs to a group of organisms where there is burkholderia mellii pseudomellii and cypatia cypatia is specific for cystic fibrosis so specific that in case you find burkholderia cypatia as the cause you retrospectively tend to think of cystic fibrosis which has been under diagnosed in the child so these are the causes which can be asked as clinical scenarios as one liners as a match the column anyway in your super specialty exam